Hey, it's Joseph here. This morning I have received very exciting package, so I want to unbox that. And it is actually another VR headset. And before I start unboxing, I want to explain a little bit of why I got around getting this specific headset. First of all, as you have seen on the thumbnail and the title of this video, it is called Oculus Quest. And for architectural workflow, I always have recommended HP Mixed Reality headset as the best one that is suitable for architectural architectural workflow. And that is actually sitting right here on the screen. As you can see, I given it a little bit of spotlight so you guys can see it easier. And I have several videos where I recommend that specific headset. So I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to see those videos if you are also interested in. However, the reasons for recommending that specific headset is because it is portable and easy to set up and also it is quite economical. It is very budget friendly. I have purchased it somewhere around $250 and it got me the controllers and the headset and I was good to go. Rather than relying on sensors that I have to set up in the perimeters of the room and rely on a lot of ports and the power, it just connects really easy with HDMI and USB 3 port. There were a few gripes about this headset that I had, which is the controllers that are really flimsy, especially on transport, and also the headset tracking isn't as accurate as it just relies on two different cameras that are set on the headset. And the accuracy of the controllers were really lacking rather and also the fact that it lights up is quite a distraction when you're doing some sort of architectural presentation. Although precise accuracy is not really needed in architectural presentation purposes, there is a route where we're gonna start modeling things or sketching things, controlling your VR experience for architectural purpose and I just wanted to explore that route and see if there is actually a better headset therefore is going to to dethrone what's over there. So the things that I'm going to look for is how easy it is to transport and also set up and control your VR experience. And if you actually know about VR headsets, even from Oculus, there are many headsets that are available. Everything from Oculus Go level to Rift S, there are ranges of headset and actually Oculus Quest is one in the middle. And Oculus Go is completely standalone model, but it replicates sort of the smartphone experience in Rift S. S is basically one that is tethered to your computer, gives you the full experience. And the Quest is actually a standalone device as well and it doesn't really utilize PC. However, there is a recent release from Oculus basically that makes Quest behave just like Rift S by being it tethered. It connects via just a single USB port and not even requiring HDMI port. So it's gonna be really easy to set up, but it also has all the benefits that Rift S has by being it tethered and being able to push a lot of graphics into the headset. And also the added feature is recognition of your hand gesture rather than the controller. So if you're trying out VR for the first time, let's say the architectural presentation, the client hasn't really experienced VR before, just recognizing hand gesture will be a lot easier implementation than getting acquainted with the controllers. I have really high hopes for this device, therefore it was my sort of Christmas gift and I'm gonna test it on my own and let you guys know how suitable it is for architectural workflow. I'm gonna take time and troubleshoot a couple of things, but today I wanted to just unbox and get it out the way. So here it is with its own flesh. I wanna be careful not to damage the box. By the way, it was quite difficult to get my hands on on this headset as it was appearing to be out of stock everywhere. And even on Amazon, the shipment was delayed and everything right now is out of stock and you would have to order in January and you expect to receive it in February. So if you wish to buy it, good luck getting your hands on and I'm very happy that I got one unit myself. And on top, it actually states the storage. So this one is 64 gigabytes and there is 128 as well, but I thought 64 gigabytes would be enough for my specific purpose as I'm not gonna load a lot of games or anything. I'm just gonna tether onto my PC and see if it is suitable for architectural workflow. And just to fill you in a little more about Oculus Quest Link, and the link is actually the Quest being linked onto your computer. Therefore, it is able to utilize all the horsepower that your computer has. And it is supposed to behave just like 
like Rift S, if your application works in Rift S, it is supposed to work on the Quest Link as well. And in order to connect your Quest onto your computer to have Quest Link, all you need is compatible USB-C cable. Supposedly Oculus is making fiber optic cable so that it has a lot of bandwidth. But there are a couple of other normal cables out there that is supposed to handle all of that bandwidth. And that is quite crucial because that single cable is going to carry a lot of information, the display, the control, and I do have that cable purchase, so I'll be testing it as well. So here you go. That's what this thing looks like. It is first time seeing it myself as well, nicely packaged. So it states Oculus Quest up here and two controllers along with the headset is included. And on the top box, it has all of these to make sure they don't wobble around during shipment, I suppose. The box is feeling really nice. I suppose I can use it as a carrying case too. This is the accessories where the cables are. This is nicely packaged as well. It is a charger and this is a guard if you're using glasses. And here is the charging cable. I don't think that is actually Quest Link compatible cable. It is just a charging cable that is long enough so that it can be continuously charged whilst you are playing with the VR headset. So I'm gonna put that aside. And here is a headset. Very clean design with mixture of dark gray and black material. I like the fabric here. It makes it all subtle and it is not too shiny. And a couple of things that I want to note that immediately just kind of caught my eye when I was actually doing research was the fact that on the mixed reality headset, you can just turn a single knob in order to adjust your headband. Whereas this is sort of the three different points. Jumping from person to person, you're going to have to adjust this point, that one, and that one. And that can be quite troublesome. Although there is sort of a give on the side like so. So that is something that I didn't really like about this, but I get why they have made this move because for gaming purpose, you want to make sure the headband is tight around your head so that it doesn't really fall off. For architectural purpose, it really is fine to have just a one single point. And another thing that I knew I was going into was the fact that this is a fabric material around your face and it's going to observe sweat. So there are other other third party stuff that is available to guard this so that no sweat absorbs through here when multiple people are using it. I have purchased that so I'm gonna be using that and test that as well. So here at the bottom there's an IPD adjustment which is the one that adjusts the distance between your eyes and there is volume up and down button here. You can see four lenses that are placed on the front instead of two of mixed reality. I can see that this sort of flips up to go up and down which is nice when you're putting the headset on this allows to be fit much easier so here it states before you start install the oculus app so i'm gonna have to get all of those set up but i'm gonna leave that out until the second part of this video where i have everything set up and i see the headphone jack on either side of the headset and also a usb-c charging cable i suppose that is going to be where everything is going to link into as well well and I see a button here I'm assuming that is a power button let me get rid of this paper and see what is in there so there are lenses I see a little sensor in the middle that allows the headset to detect whether you're wearing this versus taken off and there is a plastic peel on the lenses to protect that and there are some warning that is regarding the lenses one says no liquid cleaner so don't use liquid cleaners on the lens you can actually ruin the finish and no sunlight on lenses and if the lenses are exposed to direct sunlight it can actually be ruined and then moving on to the controllers and you might have seen another controller design where the ring is actually on the bottom of your hand your headset can actually see the ring and this is where how the positioning of the controller is detected by the lens and it is detected by infrared I believe and all the buttons are laid out quite easily accessible with the trigger button and actually it is telling me this is the right one versus this is left and you should be able to put in some sort of battery into this by opening the plastic there you go on the front you can actually put in double a size battery i believe and i keep a bunch of rechargeable double a batteries for mixed reality headset anyways oh this is actually magnet it goes into positioning and i've also read some notes that other people have left that you can actually open accidentally whilst we're playing a game so there is actually product out there
there where it puts sort of the rubbery skin on it so that it doesn't come apart so easily. And it often comes with the rubbery material that goes against this fabric sweat absorbing material. So this is a one that was shipped from Amazon. I believe it was about $10, $15. Basically, it's sort of the similar material as your phone cases. It's sort of the bumper case kind of material. And you're supposed to put that up against this fabric here. So that is really nice snug fit. I really like it and it fit without any problem. I just kind of went over all the corners. If people kind of sweat off or have some sort of makeup left over because this was up against your face, you can just wipe it off a lot easy and then get ready for another person to try. So that is a lot more hygienic solution. Let me put this back on. So I just push it in and it is actually feeling very soft and I feel like that's gonna be a lot more comfortable wearing it. Actually, let me try. I know my head is big, so I'm gonna just adjust it so that it is much bigger. All right, how do I look? I heard there is a lot of complaint about how much of a weight is on the front, but actually it doesn't really feel all that bad. It is nicely snug around my head and I can actually use this comfortably for quite a long time, I think. And because there is this top band, if you have your hair do, obviously you're gonna get your hair messed up, but there's not so much you can do about it. And this is actually the cable that is supposed to be compatible with Quest Link. It is 10 feet USB cable made from Anchor and that was the company that Oculus themselves has recommended so I just went into Amazon and purchased this it was out of stock for a brief moment as well so I suppose a lot of people are trying to get their hands on this one one end is USB 3.0 or maybe USB 3.1 and it is type A port one side and USB C on the other side so it's gonna be a lot easier connecting to your laptops as nowadays a lot of laptops lack the full-size HDMI port or display port that Oculus Rift S utilized. So it's gonna be a lot easier connecting this and I'm gonna give that a try. So there's gonna be a follow-up video where I test all of this kit out against architectural workflow and see if it is suitable for architectural presentations and even collaboration where you model certain things or sketch certain things inside of that environment and how comfortable it is, how easy to set up, whether there is compatibility Ability issue or little gripes that I have about the product and maybe I'll be able to dethrone that guy over there and replace with this headset and call it this is the best one and let's see how it goes if you have liked this content please like and subscribe to my channel where I review a lot of products against architectural workflows and thank you so much for watching as always I'll see you next time